What is going on? That was my Frankenstein growl. She just seen Bride of Frankenstein for the first time the other week. Because it's fall now, you can watch Halloween stuff. <laughs> Welcome to the grocery haul! This is a special one because we're going to show you our current favorite foods for weight loss in the grocery haul. Mind blown. Let's do it. The first thing we start with is Oinky's pig skins. <laughs> first, spinach. We love the spinach, especially the baby spinach, because it's already cleaned and we don't have to prep it. And it's super versatile. We throw this into no salt chicken broth to make a soup with a lean protein and sometimes a carb like rice. We eat it in a salad form we also chop up handfuls and put it into omelets. I've, it's it's great and it cooks so fast too. It cooks really fast. I've also put it into burgers like lean turkey burgers and that kind of thing. You can literally put it in anything and because it's green leafy vegetable it's got some good fiber in it and it makes you full and you can have quite a bit so it adds volume to whatever you're eating. Two dozen large eggs. We love eggs because it's a perfect food. It's got a good fat in it plus it's got good protein. Mixed berries. We love mixed berries because they have a ton of nutrients in them. They're full of fiber and berries tend to be fairly low in sugar and carbs. So we love eating these every day to get our fruit in and to get our veg our um, nutrients in. Two of these creamy unsweetened vanilla cashew milk. They're our favorite non-dairy milk. Three cartons of egg whites. A lot of people make the mistake when they're first dieting, they find out that egg whites, you know, don't have the fat in them. However, we get both because yes, we love the clean protein of the egg whites, but we also want the nutrients and the healthy fats from the real full whole egg. And because they contain fat, we eat one egg and then we add the extra protein in with the egg whites, which don't have any fat. So we're getting the bonus of both, the yeah. benefit of both. Depending on the morning, I'll eat one or two, but Nicole does one. Yeah. Brussels sprouts. Now, we've been loving these. First of all, they are a super good deal. In Canada, for this club size at Zares, it's $7.99. This bag of baby Brussels sprouts will last us for the entire week, both of us eating out of it one cup a day. The baby Brussels sprouts also give you a ton of volume, again, like the spinach. You get a lot. And Brussels sprouts, for half a cup, they're like three grams of fiber. So a full cup, we're getting six grams of fiber. And when you are eating in a caloric deficit, you want foods, like Nicole's been saying, that do fill you up. And Brussels sprouts and the spinach really stick with you for the long haul. They're also really tasty and you can cook them however you want. You can boil them. If you have an air fryer, you can air fry them. We roast them in the oven and you can season them however you want. And yes, you want foods that are tasty but offer you volume. And what I mean by that is that they, you get a lot for a portion serving and it helps you feel full, like you're, you're eating more. You're not gonna be hungry 20 minutes later unless you're us and then you're all, <laughs> then you're always hungry. But they should help you feel full and satisfied. Next, we got three of these family-sized extra lean ground beef. We've been loving the ground beef lately. We cook it in a pot and drain off the extra fat. And we generally try to get the extra lean so that it's fairly, you know, most of that's red meat there already. And then we um, get some really hot water and drain off the excess fat after it's cooked and it's extra, extra lean that way. Yeah, and you know, we have not drained it and made burgers out of it on a, for an occasional treat. 
we throw it into broth with the spinach to make sort of like a wedding soup. We just cook it in a pot and season it. It is also versatile and we find it really helps us put on muscle and push in the workout. Nothing puts on muscle or gives you strength like red meat and we have tried it all and every single time that we have red meat in a week, I'm stronger and I feel like I put on more size and I can visually see it and I physically feel it like I can lift more in the gym. So everything in, in moderation, you always wanna switch it up. It's just happened that the last you know month in Canada, it's like extra lean ground beef's been on sale. So we go with the flow. If it was mm -hmm. pork chops, we'd make those work too. If it was you know turkey, chicken, whatever. Yeah, it's great. If you portion it, you can eat any lean protein, but again, change it up because your body gets used to it. Cottage cheese, we have three containers of the 1% cottage cheese. We love this before bed, and we mix it with a healthy fat, which tends to be this crunchy, all-natural peanut butter. Cottage cheese is a slow-digesting protein mixed with the healthy fat. When you're building muscle, it helps your muscles repair and build all night instead of staying stagnant, meaning or like even, not building. Or even worse, losing muscle at night. Exactly. Um, cottage cheese, what we love about that is if you add in anything, cinnamon, zero calorie sweetener, peanut butter, you can blend it, you can add fruit in it. It is versatile as well. When we add the peanut butter and cocoa powder, it tastes like a pudding almost. Then, then, <laughs> then we have four of these plain fat-free Greek yogurts. And Greek yogurt's been like one of the main staples in our diet since the beginning. Since the beginning, we love the plain fat-free because you can add your own, um, I was gonna call it seasonings. You can add your own sugar-free syrups your own spices like cinnamon, nutmeg, cloves, pumpkin spice, anything you want to flavor it without the added carbs and sugar. If you pick up a fruit flavored or vanilla flavored yogurt at the stores, they tend to be much more full of carbs and sugar. Whereas if you get the plain, you can design it any way you want. Lately I've been adding sugar-free pumpkin pumpkin pie syrup to it. Wow, delicioso. And we'll report back to you. We've been kind of doing experiments with the lactose free and then going back to normal Greek yogurt. So we'll report back to you. I'm not sure yet. We just actually got that because it was on sale mm -hmm. and I'm not sure yet if it helps with bloating or a flatter stomach at the end of the week, but we'll keep notes. Yeah, we've been testing it out. I mean, generally it's been on sale lately. So we've been getting that. But if we notice a difference, we'll definitely keep you guys so, updated. Yeah, like we're on a budget, so we just go with the flow. <laughs> like we said, with the meat, we'll make it whatever's work. on sale, we get the club size packs of veggies, whatever yogurt's on sale. This name brand cottage cheese was on sale this week. That's why we picked it up. We also got this no sugar added ketchup. That's, that's Nicole's favorite <laughs> ketchup. Kyle likes adding it to his eggs. Nicole's Italian, so it's like a sin to eat ketchup ever. Sometimes on the fries, but like, oh, on eggs? No. Guys, I, I cannot be the only person that puts ketchup on my eggs. Let me know if you're a ketchup egger. Oh. <laughs> I, probably, I probably don't have too many friends. I, no. Maybe it's a Canadian thing, putting ketchup on eggs. She's a weirdo. Like, don't eat ketchup on your eggs. Oh. Hey, you married me. They're meant to be eaten, not ketchup -y. Bag of apples. We love apples pre-workout. They are also, if you get, you know, a smaller size like this, they're fairly low in carbs and sugar and they have decent fiber. So we choose those for pre-workout. This broth is amazing. The no salt added chicken broth. We just season it ourselves, add a little bit of salt to our taste. And like I said, we throw in Sometimes we put in diced tomatoes, we put in spinach, we put in lean protein. On workout days, we throw in some rice or some potatoes, and it's like your own homemade soup without any extra sodium or added carb, sugar, fat, you know. And we're not anti-salt people. We just wanna add in the amount that we want in. We like to control it, which is why we'll get 
the plain fat free or the no salt added because then we can control what we put in. And you it. guys sometimes ask us about pre-workouts. You know the best natural pre-workout is salt. Yep. It gives you the best blood flow, the best pump you'll ever have. Try it next time when you work out if you're lifting weights. A little bit of Himalayan salt. We literally just go dun, 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 and eat it. And it really works. Calorie-wise, Rancher's Choice dressing. We do go name brand with the ranch because it's lower in fat than the no-name we found. And it tastes better. And it tastes but better. But some things like this, we find no difference. I actually like these. So this is the Great Value Quick Oats. These are like two bucks at Walmart and they last a really long time. Oats are amazing. And they these, these are Canadian oats. Whoa. Canadian oats. They're, they're fancy to, to Canada fancy only. Oats. oats are amazing because they are slow digesting and they keep you full for quite a while. And they're also the main ingredient in oatmeal. <sighs> Fun fact. <laughs> Anyone else do that like Kyle? <laughs> I can't really do what, it. What, snap your fingers? It, this. You know, oh yeah, like like what the you finger do. snap. Like that. Yeah. Can you whistle for the friends? <laughs> Nailed it. There you go. Another what? talent. How do people do this? How, how, uh, you did it right, you, you got it. Another hidden talent that Nicole has, professional whistler. They love it. Um, I find that the plain quick oats they bloat me, so I prefer either gluten-free or sprouted grain items. Lately, I've been loving these sprouted grain English muffins. And I put my eggs on it and a cheese slice, and I make like an egg muffin sandwich, a fat-free cheese slice. Ooh, say delicioso. You know why those oats were bloating you? Because you weren't buying the quick oats, you were buying the quick bloats. That was pretty good, actually. <laughs> the dad jokes are flowing. I wasn't expecting that. Don't one. try to stop them. Did we tell them about the carrots? Not yet. And what we dip the what we dip the ranch into? Yeah, we what, dip the ranch in carrots. What we what we dip the carrots into? I mean, okay, you guys understand. Carrots go in the ranch. <laughs> yeah. I'm looping, loopy. Um, two. Bags of carrots, one big, one small. We buy the baby because you don't have to peel them or cut them or clean them. And if you haven't checked it out, we just did a full day of eating video where we show most of these foods in the correct per in the correct portions. And for us. what we put in them. Yeah. Now, we must show you some of the other cool items. Well, yeah, we can't forget there's another cool, literal frozen item in the fridge. Oh, yeah, there is. Hey, the friends. Look at this, gingerbread latte soap. Never seen that before. No. So we got this one. I like this Live Clean because I don't know about you guys, but we live, like, we live in Canada, it gets super cold in the winter. And this soap is the only thing that doesn't crack my hands and my knuckles and stuff. Yeah, your skin, you really notice it here in Canada, like your skin gets super dry and cracky. Yeah, and I found that that soap um, really helps. It's really gentle on my hands. For ladies, I love these all-purpose wipes from Walmart for my makeup. I always wipe, you know, if I get mascara or foundation on my hands. These are perfect. I keep them at my makeup vanity. The dental floss. We like clean teeth. And we got this Pro Sante. <laughs> that was the uh, French side. Pro Health Sensitive because we have sensitive teethies. It's our favorite. Now you want to get into the Piesto Resistance, don't you? Yes. We found new cookies at the grocery store at the Walmart. Yeah. Limited edition. Pumpkin spice mocha cream. <laughs> yeah. I think they're both going to be good. The friends, let us know which one you would choose down below. Now we know you'd eat both, but which one first? Which one first? I kind of am leaning toward the pumpkin spice. What, uh, what about uh, you? Yeah, me too. Pumpkin spice. And then probably immediately after a mocha cream. And then together in a sandwich. <laughs> okay, so I'm super excited for these. Great Value makes like amazing cookies. Great Value's red velvet cookies are better than the Oreo. Oh, yeah. And their birthday cake like version of Oreos are way better, in my opinion, than the birthday cake Oreos. So, 
let's show you the cold baby. Chocolate with, what's that? Salty caramel and peanuts, whoa. Oh yeah, we're excited this was on sale. We are gonna put that in our belly on cheat day. We had this once before, it's actually really good. I kind of forget, but I know I liked it, but I, I'm interested. In Chocolate ice cream and peanuts with caramels? Yes! <clears throat> Let us know down below what's your favorite flavor of ice cream. Yeah. Tell us now. Yeah, so that's the haul. <laughs> All right, so that's it. Hope you enjoyed this. Hope you got, you know, inspired or um, to try out some of our favorite foods because they really help us, feed, you know, they're tasty, they are satisfying, and they help us lose weight. And versatile. We've been going for like seven years now, and we eat similar foods, but yeah. they always taste different because we keep switching it up. Yeah, because we add different things to it and mix it up. Like, that's me mixing in a bowl. Like, mix yeah, that up. I think, I think they got that part. <laughs> so, don't forget, check us on an Instagram. At the Colette's because on the gram we are showing the pictures of our food of what we're eating of how we're working out Nicole dances like when she talks she moves of, her hands and dances of our groceries I'm Italian the hands must move when I'm talking <laughs> and so get there now you're seeing in Hank and you're seeing us on being models and workout friends so do it and hit that bell okay because you don't want to miss any of these fancy videos you will be sad if you do. Yes. <laughs> and you didn't get my leg there. Got it. Yeah. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Or what? Or what? Hold on. <laughs> She's picking the doom item, friends. Look out. Ah. The tiger of <laughs> doom. Tiger helmet. Okay. <laughs> I got this for my birthday. Is that a safety helmet or just a tiger helmet? It's a tiger helmet, dude. <laughs> I love it. I'm gonna steal steal that later. Okay. <laughs>